logs on the internet, sees that the Houston Texans may have made their choice for who's going to be their next head coach to try and pick up the shambles of the pieces of the Bob era. Fully expects to see that once the Super Bowl is over, the Houston Texans will hire Eric Bieniemy, the offensive coordinator of the Kansas City Chiefs. Continues to read and is stunned and surprised to find out not only that Eric Bieniemy will not be the next head coach of the Houston Texans, uh, that they apparently went way, way, way off the radar. Wow. The Houston Texans have indeed hired their next head football coach, and it's David Culley. David Culley? David Culley? Really? Of all the candidates, of all the people, of everyone that you could have brought in, you brought in David Culley? Wow. I know I'm not the only one that was surprised at this news. This is a surprise. This is a big surprise. Now, I'd be remiss first if I didn't say that I'm happy for David Culley. This is a guy that has spent decades in the league and he has certainly paid his dues. And I think he's like 64 or 65 now. So if he was ever going to get an opportunity, now was the time that he had to get one. And you're also talking about in a coaching cycle where you could go uh, to the Proud Boys, excuse me, the Philadelphia coaching staff where they all look like Sirianni. Um, you know, the fact that you had David Culley get hired, you know, at least we have one more non-white head coach in the NFL, a guy that paid his dues. Perhaps he was overdue for this opportunity. Maybe not. Time will tell. I'm happy for him. Son of a gun. You get to be the man. You get a significant pay raise. Right before retirement. Do you, David? Do you? But say what now? David Culley is the guy that you targeted. David Culley is the guy that you either A, are hoping to God that he can help mend some of the fences and rebuild, repair the relationship with, you know, franchise quarterback Deshaun Watson, or B, if not, he's the guy that you're expecting to lead you in the post-Watson era? Really? Really? I, I know Eric Bieniemy has a couple of skeletons in his closet from over the years, some off-the-field shenanigans. And unless there's something, though, that is significantly worse than what is already known or reported about him, you know, a lot of that stuff was a long, long time ago. Other stuff, not quite super egregious. You couldn't have waited until after the Super Bowl? And then when you find out that you didn't even bring him in for a second interview, the Houston Texans didn't even bring him in for a second interview. Shit, at this point, they might as well have hired damn Josh McCown. Because at least he's played the quarterback position. He's a smart guy. He could have a really healthy, nice relationship with Deshaun Watson or some other young quarterback that you bring in. Instead, you go to the Baltimore Ravens and pluck away their wide receivers coach, their assistant head coach. So not even an offensive coordinator, certainly not even a play caller, but an assistant of an assistant is basically what you're talking about. A guy that oversaw a position group. And last time I checked with the Baltimore Ravens, it's not like the performance of David Culley's wide receivers has been off the charts. That it's been outstanding, that it's been something to write home about. That you can point to that group and say, man, they don't seem to have the most talent, but by God, they seem to get the most out of their guys. Like if you said you were hiring the Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver coach, you'd say, you know what? That's an organization that knows what the hell they're doing when it comes to drafting the wide receiver position. They find guys that aren't first-round talents 
and get them to play like their first round talents. If you're talking about bringing that wide receiver coach in, while it's seemingly less than ideal, at least you could say there is some level of credibility and performance there with the group that he was overseeing. I don't even know if the hell you can say that with David Cully. And at a time where the league's going this way with the younger head coaches and if they sniff Sean McVay's taint or somebody else's taint that's touched or sniff Sean McVay's taint, they're getting a head coaching job. The heck, Houston Texans says, when they go left, they go right. Kind of like the macho man. Oh, yeah, dig it. When they go left, I said go right. I mean, you went down the other path where you bring in a guy who's now getting his first head coaching opportunity and he will be one of the oldest head coaches in the National Football League. And he wasn't even a coordinator. Wow. Now, I know you don't have a first or second round pick. I know you don't have salary cap space. I know there was a lot of damage done the last couple of years specifically of the Bob era. But David Cully? I mean, no personal insult here, but realistically, honestly, David Cully? David Cully's the guy? That's the one that you think that's going to bring you to respectability again? That's the one that could potentially take you to prominence? Really? Will he even stay in the league long enough to live through his contract? He's already 65? And you hired David Cully? And what I really can't fathom or understand about this, and when you think about Deshaun Watson in his current position and how he's made it known that he wants to be traded, he's requested a trade, he's asked for a trade, you see this hire and the process involved with this hire and you totally and completely get it and understand it. Screw anything else with McNair. Screw anything else in general. Just look at this. This alone should tell you everything. The Houston Texans, keep me honest here. Weren't they the first team to fire their head coach this year? I believe they were after that 0-4 start. Bob got sent packing. 0-4 start. So that means they fired their head coach a quarter of the way through the season, meaning in theory, they had carte blanche, first dibs. They had months to do this process, months to prepare, months to put the pieces in place, months to have a plan. And their plan ultimately resulted in David Cully. And not only did they have the most time, but even once the offseason started, they still took the longest time. They still took the longest time to find a head coach. For God's sakes, the dumpster fire right now, that's the Eagles with the quarterback controversy and the salary cap hell. And playing in Philly and coaching in Philly. They were able to find their head coach before the Houston Texans. You're in the lead up to the Super Bowl now. You've had almost four damn months. What the hell were you waiting for? I mean, this is astounding. No wonder Deshaun Watson wants the fuck out of Dodge. Can you blame him? Because this just reeks of stupidity and incompetence of the highest order. This is less about David Culley. It's more about the thought process, the philosophy, and the lack of clear plan or justifiable approach for whatever the hell the Houston Texans called, called this head coaching search. I don't care if you're sitting there saying, well, you got to find a new GM first. Again, when you fired your head coach, you fired your personnel guy. You had months. The hell were you waiting for? And what I really can't fathom is the two teams in the Super Bowl, if you're going to wait this long, why not hire a Todd Bowles? Why not hire a Byron Leftwich? Why not hire an Eric Bieniemy? There, at least, you can sit there and say that we've got some diversity. You've hired a minority candidate to be the head coach. 
and you've hired guys that are apparently better at their jobs for their responsibilities than David Cully is. Like, it's almost like this David Cully hire feels like a token hire in the sense of McNair sitting there looking and say, eh, we gotta hire a black guy so that way Deshaun will be shut up and play football and be happy. Like, I mean, seriously. I do not mean any insult to David Cully. Because he has worked his ass off for decades to get to this moment and spot. And I wish him absolutely nothing but the best. And God knows he's going to the Houston Texans. He's going to need every bit of it. And frankly, in some situations, some cases, I'd rather seen a guy like Cully get it because if he gets fired in three years, he can just retire. He ain't got a career after this. This is the last stop on the road. This is the last depot on the tracks for him. Maybe it's better that he goes down swinging with that ship as opposed to a younger guy like a Bulls or, you know, somebody like a Byron Leftwich, somebody like an Eric Bieniemy. Maybe. But damn, son, if you were going to wait this long, why not just wait until after the Super Bowl and you can have any one of your choice of those guys? And Bulls has had previous NFL head coaching experience. Eric Bieniemy comes from the Andy Reid coaching tree. You went to a really crappy coaching tree the last time to pluck away Bob. Why wouldn't you go to a good coaching tree this time? I know what you're going to say. Well, he might not have final say-so. He's similar to a Matt Nagy, and maybe he is. But wouldn't you rather hire an offensive coordinator that's been a part of that offense the past couple of years? Then the wide receiver coach for a team whose passing game stinks and the receivers are god terrible? I mean, come on! Wow. You thought the Sirianni hiring was questionable. You thought the Sirianni hiring sounded bad. How, how could this... I gotta ask Texans fans. Another fan too for that matter. You tell me. Well, first you should subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. And then you tell me how you see this hiring going. How do you think the David Collier is gonna go in Houston? And please, for the love of God, tell me how it could possibly any, be anything other than a potential absolutely unmitigated disaster. Cause I sure as hell would like to know. Now, I don't care if you think you're hiring a Quality staff behind him. Love it, he's back in the NFL as a defensive coordinator. Shit, at this point, if you were going to bring in Lovey, y'all might as well have brought him in as a head coach. Right? Right? Maybe you would have brought in David Cully as his offensive coordinator. It's almost like he got the damn roles reversed here. I don't get it, man. And y'all going to have to help me really understand this one. Because the Houston Texans look like doo-doos, straight doo-doos with this hire.